So the topic of today's sermon is animal sacrifice. A long, long time ago, in another era, people believed that you have to sacrifice live animals for the people you loved. You would get an animal and then you would kill it and then you would offer the spirit or offer the meat to the spirits of the people you loved. This was a common practice back then. In this one particular case, one day a Brahmin, which is like a rich wealthy man, powerful man, he had a goat and he told his sons, take the goat to the river to wash it before the animal sacrifice. And so the two sons took the goat to the river. When they got to the river, they washed the goat. But all of a sudden, the goat started laughing. Ha 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 ha, ha 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 ha. Started laughing. And then, all of a sudden, the goat started crying. Now, the two boys looked at them and was very surprised. Why is the goat laughing and crying? This is very strange. And so they asked the goat, Mr. Goat, why are you laughing? Why are you crying? The goat says, if you want to know, ask me in, fr in front of your father. And so they took the goat home. When they got home, they told the father about what happened. And the father said, Mr. Goat, my sons told me that you were laughing and crying at the river. Please tell me why. And the goat says, I was laughing because 500 lives ago, I was a Brahmin like you. I used to believe in animal sacrifice too. I killed a goat by cutting off its head and sacrificing it to the gods and the spirits. Because of that evil karma, hurting other animals and making other animals die, I had to go to hell. And after hell, I had to be reborn as a goat. And I got my head cut off 499 lives in a row. Now, this is my 500th life. Once I die this life, my punishment is over. So I laughed because finally I will be free from my torment of my mistake and bad actions. He says, oh, well, that's good for you. I'm happy for you that you're going to be free from your torment. But why did you cry, sir? And the goat says, I cried out of compassion for you. You are still confused. You are still lost. You are killing animals and doing evil. And in the end, you will have to be like I was. And so I know how much pain it was. And so for you, I cried. When the Brahmin heard this, he internalized the story and realized, oh my gosh, if this goat had to die 500 times because he killed another goat, then what about me? If I kill, I will get killed too. Oh, I don't want that. I don't want that. And so he decided not to kill the goat. He decided to protect the goat. Now, what does this story teach us? This is a basic teaching of Buddhism, which is karma. Whatever you do is what you get. If you do good to other people, good things will happen back to you. If you are bad to other people, bad things will happen to you. It's the most fair and just rule in the world. There's no people forcing it on you. You get what you do. If you want good things to happen to you, be good. You want people to speak to you nicely, <clears throat> speak to others nicely. You want to be safe and free from physical harm, don't physically harm others. You want to have money and wealth, learn how to give to others, so others will have too. Whatever you want is what you need to do. If you do bad, you get bad things. If you do good, you get good things. This is the rule of karma.